Hey everyone, my name is Christiana Hurt. I own Wealthy College Kid, an e-commerce education platform that teaches people how to sell online. You put this on repeats, you're gonna watch the interview over and over and over and over because uh, you're gonna get actionable steps that can change your life. Our ability to duplicate success, you know? I've been posting different people for years, 2017, 18, 19, 20, and so on. These people are able to put themselves in a better position and potentially walk away from the life that they had prior. The, uh, the lady that went on a maternity leave, actually still doing that now. That's how you mm -hmm. know if something was effective. You know, Mexico to Panama where I'm at now, and I'd be damned if I bring false flaggers on here. So. With me saying that, I'm going to let her introduce herself to you guys so you know she's the real deal. Go ahead. Hey, everyone. My name is Christiana Hurt. I own Wealthy College Kid, an e-commerce education platform that teach we, teaches people how to sell online on a software company called Celsi that allows you to cart, compare, and find the cheapest groceries in your area right from the store to your door, as well as a children's clothing brand called Just Kidding Kids. So I'm really excited to be here. Okay. That's where I was at. So, I always tell y'all, if y'all ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. She just mentioned all these platforms that she's owning, you know. that That is literally the way. Assets and people, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you don't have assets or people, it's going to be very difficult to make money. Uh, let's get straight into it. Um, can you share a pivotal, a pivotal moment that inspired you to create Wealthy Kid? Wealthy College Kid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, a pivotal moment was definitely after my eviction. Um, after the eviction, I was kind of at a standstill because I was primarily just selling on Shopify and just selling my own products, baby products. And I was kind of running low on cash to be able to fund the business and fund my lifestyle. So I had a friend that was like, why don't you teach people you've made enough money? A lot of people are starting to recognize your face. You're going viral on Facebook. Why don't you just teach people? So that is when I introduced Wealthy College Kid in 2018, almost two years after I moved out. Okay. Yeah, see, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, I always tell people, like, it's a lot of uh, fakers out here on the internet. So if you're really doing it for real, then you should get in there and help us, like, uh, you know, <laughs> filter out the fake, you know? So I saw your proof. I saw your story. I saw that you're actually doing it. I went on your site. I saw the testimonials. I, I saw all of that. So we need people like you that's actually doing this uh, to come out here, come out from the shadows. I remember when I was coming up, uh, trying to become an entrepreneur and leave the nine to five slave jobs. That was before social media really like oh. wanted everybody to be popular and superstars and stuff. So the, the gurus or the coaches and the people that were really doing it, they were in the shadows. So I had to figure it out. Like, you know, it was, it was difficult to get in contact with them or they didn't offer just, they wouldn't, it was no YouTube ads just talking about, yeah, join my mastermind and nothing like that. So it was difficult. So now we're in a, in a day and age where like, if you're really doing it, yeah, put it out there. Cause there's, there's people out there that's lost that don't want to be at their nine to five. And if they come across something like what you provide a wealthy college kid, uh, it, it could definitely help them out. Okay, so like what I, I saw, but what would you say sets a wealthy college kid apart from all of the other e-commerce education platforms? You know, the ability to simplify and make things very cut and dry. I think it's important that if you can't accurately articulate yourself and what you do for a living and how somebody else can do it, that you're not really doing it. So I believe that our transparency and honestly, our ability to duplicate success, you know, I've been posting different people for years. These people, you know, really have my back, whether they met me in 2017, 18, 19, 20, and so on. These people are able to put themselves in a better position and potentially walk away from the life that they had prior. And that was the most exciting thing that I, I uh, noticed about your story. Um, you brought people with you. It wasn't just a... Uh, all right, she's doing this and she just stunned on everybody. You know what I'm saying? She ain't helping nobody else. Like you're, you're helping a lot of people and everything. I even saw on your Instagram, you know, whenever you post something, people are like super supportive that, you know, you change people's lives. They, they pay attention to you and everything. So, you know, I bring, a, I brought a couple people on this channel. I have like five other channels. So this is going to be distributed uh, throughout those other channels as well. Uh, the people that I bring on, they, they all fit a certain, you know, uh, 
I don't know if you ain't got a chance to look at the, uh, a couple of the other interviews, but I, I always want to make sure the people are authentic. And for right off the bat, when I saw you on, uh, I can't think of the the black guys, uh, the dark skinned black guys, but he has the accent like uh-huh. he's from uh, uh, um, London or something. I, sh- I don't, I can't think of his name. Oh, you're but, talking about the Calman Johnson show. Yeah, yeah. When I saw you on that show, I'm like, yeah, she's doing it for real. I've been doing it for so long that I know when somebody is faking or not. You know, so everybody I bring on, they have receipts and everything. So you guys watching right now, man, like I don't like to beg people to take action and help themselves. But it it takes a lot to be able to bring people out to the public and reveal their lives to try to help y'all. So don't just be looking in a suggested section, trying to think of the next YouTube video to watch or like watching. You get false, false accomplishments. When you watch these educational videos, like that's going to change your life. Those are just feelings and stuff. When we bring people on here, take action with what they're telling you because they're living that lifestyle that you want to live right now. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, let's move on because I'll be, I'll be preaching. Here. OK. <laughs> All right. So let's dive into the core principles behind your dropship and mastery course, if you don't mind. So the core principles are really understanding what and where to sell in 2024. Um, we have our monthly product list that comes out at the first of every month within that course for $97 a month. You not only learn exactly how to sell online and how to properly list these products, but you're also getting a list to kind of help you understand what goes into products that are potentially profitable, as well as products that are going to sell in today's markets and trends. Okay. Um, and just in case y'all are wondering, because I know y'all are super excited. OK, so this this isn't what I was going to ask before, but like what are the major platforms that you're going to be teaching them how to drop ship on and everything? So some of the major platforms that we go over is going to be Facebook Marketplace because it's a great beginning platform. Everybody has a Facebook account. And then the second platform is going to be eBay which is another platform you're able to create an account for free on. So it's really a great beginner step before moving on to something like Amazon that does cost $39.99 a month or Walmart that has a strenuous application process. Really? <laughs> See, I don't know too much about the, the Walmart mm-hmm. experience. I saw a couple, what was it, like a couple years ago, it kind of blew up, you know, and I was like, okay, yeah, you know, that's kind of cool. Everybody likes to flock to the new, the new platform and everything like that. I do know about eBay a bit. Um, I've done a little bit of that back in the day um, with planes, actually. <laughs> and the, the, the little, the little um, what do you call them, pontoon boats and everything like that. Like you can sell like huge stuff on, on eBay and stuff. That's, that's... But anyway, so that's another thing that got me excited about it because of how you were explaining it on the interview. I was like, yeah, she makes it to where anybody can do this. And it's not being genius to make something sound complex is making something that is complex sound simple. And that's how you like be able to bring people with no experience up with you. Um, So that's just super cool. All right. So like Facebook drop shipping, I heard of it usually is with ads and stuff. I didn't really hear about it with like the, uh, what do you call it? The marketplace. So that's, that's no Facebook marketplace allows us to change the zip code so that you can sell in other areas that a product may be more profitable in or more in demand. Okay, cool. So you don't need that to run the uh, the ads yet or anything, the paid ads. No, there's no advertising on either of those platforms. <laughs> Y'all hearing it, right? So <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tired. So I'm a little goofy when I'm tired, right? So <laughs> listen, so that means the money can go to you guys getting the coaching from her because then it's just the sweat equity then you're, you're just putting in the work, you know what I'm saying? Planting the seeds, you're tilling the field like the Bible say, and then letting God give the increase, right? So, I mean, that should make y'all excited right there because a lot of y'all are afraid to do Facebook ads for some reason. But she just said, once you get into her program, it's not really too much of that paid advertisement stuff, right? No, there's no paid ads on Facebook or eBay. Wow, okay. <laughs> um. So could you elaborate on like, how your course unlocks the potential of this powerful social media platform. So it allows you to kind of understand, obviously we don't and cannot predict any type of search engine on these platforms, but we are able to understand that with the correct keywords, the correct verbiage and photos that we can rank these products to the first and second page 
And when people obviously are scrolling or impulsively purchasing, your product is the one that they are purchasing. Nice, nice. See, I'm an SEO wizard. That's I started off <laughs> with that. So I understand that language right there. And that's that's another thing that had me excited about it. Like I pay attention. I pay attention. When dude was asking you certain questions about how you do it, that's why I say I knew you were the real deal, because when people explain what they do, you can you can tell if they don't know what the hell they're talking about, if it's just rehearsed or or something like that. So I I, I knew that you knew what you were talking about. Then I went to visit the site. <laughs> You know, and I always tell this, I always say this, stop watching testimonials and become one. But even me, I got caught up watching. <laughs> I got caught up watching your testimonials, man. you know what I'm saying? So like in everybody, they said the same thing, right? I pay attention to uh, similarities and irregular. Uh, I can't even say the word right. I pay attention to patterns. I'll just say that. And I pay attention to pattern breaks. When when you do watch testimonials. If you notice too many pattern breaks, that means that the coach does not have a system. But when I was watching the testimonials, it was no pattern breaks at all. Every last one of those people said the same thing, whether they got results in the first week, in the first couple of days or the first month. The only difference between the time period of their results, I noticed, was how much or how little work they put in with the program or when they got started. It was not um, it wasn't like a, a, a luck type situation. You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, super exciting. OK, so the eBay course, the eBay course, that's your main course. That's the flagship course. Um, I would definitely say it's a fan favorite. <laughs> OK, why is that? Um, because it allows people to get their feet wet with low entry and it doesn't require or take a lot of time to see that instant gratification that a lot of people want to see when doing something like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah, instant gratification. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me ask this. Um, I was just talking about, um, I was just talking about the testimonials and everything. And like I said, I don't want to be a hypocrite, but even I got caught up watching some of your testimonials. Um, so your testimonials look better than mine. Man. So, so <laughs> right. So, so is, is it anyone that stood out for you, like a success story that pretty much like, like stood out, like one of your favorite ones that you can tell my audience just in case they are too lazy to go check out the actual testimonial? Um, definitely. There was a woman in the military that gave birth to twins in 2019 or 2018 and she bought a brand new car cash. That was kind of cool. And then another woman, um, she went on maternity leave, met me, spent her last. Right. Um, it was a four figure investment and she was able to make the money back and net the day her child was born, like in the wow. hospital. So she went on maternity leave and she never returned. And that was like five years. See, that's now what I'm got, talking about right there. See, look, listen. Um, and she's got like three kids now. So she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't do anything but this. I like to scream out like we have a quote over <laughs> here uh, or I don't know, a quote, slogan, mantra, whatever you want to call it. There is no cash in without action. We say that over <laughs> here. There is no cash in without action. Everybody likes to wait for the perfect time to do something. She could have easily said that and her family would have backed her up. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, going through this, you're going through that, you know, pregnant and all of that. And then she'd be like, yeah, 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 I am. That's the reason why I'm not going to take action. Right. But she just went on ahead and took action. So look, guys, that's the difference. Everybody wants to study wealthy people and think that their mind works in some like unique way. The only difference between the wealthy and the poor is decisions. You understand? Like when the wealthy meet an opportunity, they don't sit and meditate on all the wrong ways, uh, uh, wrong things. Uh, um, are ways that can go wrong. They don't sit and just like obsess over that. They think on, okay, but if I do do this, you know what I'm saying? Like my happiness could outweigh, uh, you know, the sadness of this not working. Like if it doesn't work, this is just another product or program that I invested in that didn't work. What's the, what's the worst that can happen? But if it does work and it changes your freaking life, you understand what I'm saying? Could you really pass up something like that? Like, and I think people... I'm talking like it's just me and you. I think y'all watching right now need to start considering that when you're like making uh, me and my wife, we were talking about, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> we were talking about how when it comes to, you know, our lusts 
and our desires and stuff. We just spend money. Like if we want to go to go travel and go to the movies, to, uh, go to the whatever you want to do, buy shoes, clothes or whatever it is. You don't sit and say, you know what? I think I need to see a testimonial first. When the last time you watched a testimonial before you went and bought a flat screen TV? But when it comes to something that can change our lives, running ads, investing in a coaching mastermind, a course or something, people, they got to sit and like, "Mm, I don't know. Like, am I going to get an ROI? When the last time? Look, I'm losing weight right now. The ROI on eating bad food (laughs) sucks. I, people don't consider it. Oh, when if I go and like go to this buffet, what's going to be my ROI? Why do you think that is? Why do you think people procrastinate when it's something that can help them, but don't procrastinate with the detrimental things? So unfortunately, a lot of people fall victim to their own mind and their own overthinking. Um, a lot of that can be so many different factors, you know, things that may have happened to them in the past, people that they may know, something that they've seen online. Um, fear is our biggest worst enemy. And unfortunately, this comes with it, the fear of being broke, the fear of the unknown and the fear of failure. So it can be daunting, and it can be uncomfortable with those thoughts. But again, um, that's just the difference between the people that make it and the people that don't spoken like a true genius, you hear me? Uh (laughs) It's the truth, y'all. Like, you know, in case you're wondering, you know, everybody like to watch day in the life videos and stuff. And then you watch them and you notice that the people are just like you. Only difference is if you pay attention to those videos, when something comes up, they say, all right, let's do it. When something come up in your life, you be like, all right, let me sit and weigh the options. Let me check the Libra scale, you know, and, and all of that BS. You just got to make a move. If it makes sense, don't take too long on a decision. Like today with her. You can have the opportunity to learn this from her. You've heard of Amazon. You've heard of eBay. You've heard of Walmart. You heard of drop shipping. You've heard of all of these different platforms. So you know it's real. If a business model makes sense to you, and then you have the opportunity to have personal uh, assistance from someone that's been successful in that business model, what is there really to think about? Like, what what is it? Okay, so that that's what I got to say. All right, so... Like even me at the beginning with e-commerce and all of that stuff, like I strayed away because it's certain things that had me like, yo, I I can't figure this out. But I saw some simplicities in what you were talking about. Can you explain how wealthy college kid can make it simple, even for like beginners or people that have no experience? Honestly, it comes down to the verb verbiage and the way that I teach. I think it's important to understand that when I do teach people, I focus on you know, the bare basics, you know, a lot of people don't understand that the average reading level in America is like third grade. So you have to kind of take that into consideration. If you're going to be teaching people, whether they be adults or even middle aged people, that you have to speak in terms that are very, very simple for people to retain, because comprehension is not everybody's skill set and reading is very fundamental. So I try to make things I try to make things as simple as possible to be able to see the best type of retention within my audience. For sure. For sure. Okay, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm super excited. Like I was telling her before we started recording that I got I have two daughters. Um and I'm not letting my children like if they end up going to college, that'll be on the back end type stuff. I went to college for like two months. Uh and that was only oh, really? to... Oh, really? I'm a college graduate. Yeah, well, good. But me, <laughs> I wanted to do music. My family weren't really yeah. trying to like support that. And I was trying to be mature. So I went to college to try to make them happy. And then when I got there and I realized I was going to have to have all these general uh, uh, classes before I can do the music electives and, and all of that extra stuff, I was like, oh, I got to get out of here. You hear me? Like, so, you know, I Do you support that. your daughters going to college? Yeah. If they want to go to college, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop them. I mm-hmm. always tell them and my wife, as long as you're doing something positive, I'm going to support it. Like your dream doesn't have to be mine, but it would be off brand anti-job for you to try to go and get a job. If you go to college <laughs> and you use that, see, that's what they don't tell you about college though. You know, uh, they don't teach you about, you know, competition in the market. A lot of those colleges don't. And they don't teach you to go and become the ruler. Like they teach you to go and then go work for somebody and fit in into the plantation and stuff. So if you're going to college and you're going to come out and start your own practice, start your own like like engineering company or 
Yeah, you know that. One hundred percent. I I support I ownership. I support college. I support college as a way to understand what you like and what you don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, my thing is ownership. So if, if you can go to college and go into a field where you can become an owner, and I believe that's any of those fields, but they don't teach you direction most of those times. Even if you go there, a lot of people are studying. Uh, I don't believe in all this bull crap that's going on with this pronoun and gender this and all of that. But even if you went there and you uh, majored in gender studies or something, how do you become an owner from that? OK, well, guess what? You become an activist. You create books. You create documentaries and make money off of that. You be the owner. So I don't have a problem with college besides the fact that they try to take you straight into the workforce. So if people no. can still be entrepreneurs with the skill sets. Then go ahead, go to you know, go to college. Then, right? You know, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> did you want to say anything else on that? No, you got. <laughs> but yeah, if they decide to go to college, I'm still gonna be like, all right. So, what are you going to build after you leave? I'm still, I'm still gonna say that. But they can go. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, I'm super excited about having you on here. Like, uh, I reached out to you a while back, and it took a while for you to get to me. Don't ever leave me now. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, I'm excited to have you on here because I know, uh, like I have faith that there's a lot of smart people watching this and, you know, I took them, I took a lot of them through my programs and stuff. What I have isn't for everybody. So I learned that I'm trying to bring diversity on here as far as, uh, different monetization me uh, methods and everything. And I'm building my school anti-job university. So everybody I bring on here, eventually I'm, I want them to go into my, my school as well. Kind of like a Udemy type situation um i'm sorry it's is 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 a lot on my mind right now because <laughs> because i never had an e-commerce person on here before. like i just brought one of my old students um uh, keith on here and he uh he made it to 140k and i that's with party buses i taught him drop servicing right uh this was during a scandemic of 2020 and uh <laughs> but but he does day trading now so i brought him a whole bunch of students they're doing that now, but I've always wanted to get somebody that's like like you on here for e-commerce. Because even me, like I have a course, uh, a course called local uh, drop shipping, right, or local commerce or something. But it's not like what you do, uh, and I believe what you do is way more digestible for the average person. Like you said, the verbiage and uh, all the technical stuff, like it's difficult for me to like, right. Um, so how you explain things is just, it's just awesome. So, so how much can students realistically, you know, I know there's no set number or whatever. How much can students realistically, uh, earn after completing the courses given that they take action? So back in 2021, FTC really started to enforce these income claims. So now in 2024, we cannot realistically tell you that you will even make a dollar or you won't make anything, but what I can tell you is you will learn a skill set that if you take serious and you perform these skill sets to the best of your ability, it will produce income. Okay. Well, that's honest, guys. And guess what? Yeah. Use your imagination, right? <laughs> Put that but you are always in. welcome. I tag I tag all of my testimonials. You're always welcome to ask what they made. Well, there you go. There you go. And one of the things you got to pay attention to is what she said earlier is the uh, the lady that went on a maternity leave and never went back, she's still doing that now. That's how you mm -hmm. know if something was effective. You know, uh, you can make quick money with a lot of things, but if people don't see longevity in it, then it's like, eh, you know, so this is good right here. Okay, so let's see, what kind of ongoing support can the people that sign up today that's watching right now, hint, hint, what type of support can they expect? You can definitely expect weekly calls, weekly check-ins, and definitely updated worksheets to help guide you so that you feel fully supported in a community because you're stronger together and a route of proven success comes with a strong community and people that care about your success just as much as you do. Okay. Um, can you give a few challenges that they might face? Challenges are definitely going to be procrastination yourself, not <laughs> wanting to list the products because it's time consuming, it's tedious. Another thing is self-doubt, listing things and feeling like it won't sell, listing things and thinking you picked the wrong product to sell, and as well as money management. When you start seeing sales and you start seeing large deposits, it's hard to stay humble and stay focused and scale up within that business. For sure. Like, 
that's definitely something my first time around. When I first, like when we first started making like, like, <laughs> like you're not, you're not black anymore, money. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> when, when we first started making the uh, money that like, let me know that, yo, I would be pissed off if I was a doctor right now. When we started <laughs> making that type of money, like I could go to the dentist and make him look broke money. It is I very know. difficult to be like, yo, let me get up in the morning. You got to really love what you're doing. We, when, when this first happened, we immediately started living off the beach in Mexico, like immediately immediately you hear me and then god had to cluck me upside the head and we then ran into <laughs> some hardships like hold on dude you ain't all that right so but that is a challenge y'all you know what i'm saying and she's been very honest with that but the good thing about it is you're gonna have community you're gonna have support through all of that and if you surround yourself with other people that are doing well as well and notice that you still got to be a human being that can help you out as well so all right so how do you stay ahead of the curve I never stopped learning, uh, reading books, putting myself in the rooms and talking to new people and never being afraid to ask questions or, or surround myself with people that are doing better than me. See, yeah, I noticed that, right? The Bible says every beast loveth his like. You understand what I'm saying? That means, I mean, the world tells you birds of a feather flock <laughs> together, right? A lot of y'all are trying to become something successful and great. But you're still hanging with the same people that you used to rob the rims off of people's cars with. What you expect, right? So get around winners if you want to become that. You are what you eat and you are who you hang around with. And that's just real talk right there. So she's she got good people around her, you know, and uh, y'all should, should be around her. Okay, so what if they have full time jobs and stuff? Like, what about all that? Let me give you a whole bunch of excuses and then help me out. So with a lot of times when you work a nine to five, you have a one hour lunch break, you have days off. And it's important to, again, don't fall into mindless scrolling. Don't fall into things that just aren't helping you progress or income producing activities. So if you're working full time, meaning a 40 hour work week. You still have hours in the week and breaks that you need to have self-discipline towards to be able to do this. It's not for everybody. It's definitely not a one size fits all. But if you're willing to do the work and work nine till done, you'll find yourself not having to rely on the nine to five. Say that again. Work what? Work nine till done. Oh, I'm stealing that. I hope you don't mind. The Bible says <laughs> house and I steal. Do I have permission though? No, go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm taking that. All right. I appreciate that. She said nine <laughs> till done. You hear me? Like a lot of people put the pat on their back because, yo, I put in these hours, bro. But if the results aren't like happening, then you pr you're not done, man. You're not you're not done. So nine till done. That's where I said I'm feeling it. OK, uh, <laughs> what advice would you give someone who's <clears throat> well, like the baby people? But what advice would you give someone that is hesitant about jumping into e-commerce? Um, definitely scroll through the page, tune into a live, come to a free class and see if you meet somebody that resonates with you or that you have something in common with, ask questions. And then when you're ready, we're always going to be here for you. Okay, cool. All right. So I always teach them, uh, you know, it's laws and formulas to how you become successful. Um, we don't want it to be a, an if I'm successful, we want it to be a win. Like, when am I going to win? Not if I'm going to win. Right. Then it only becomes a matter of time, not a matter of like chance. Right. So we have formulas. Right. And I noticed that you're following some of those formulas, whether you know it or not. OK, mm -hmm. so you have offer plus like irresistible offer plus traffic equals sales. All right. The irresistible offer is is the fact, guys, that she has all of this um, uh, high converting, like real results producing information and education on her platform that is in the pinned comment you're seeing right now. And it's for unbelievable prices. You know, you want to, like I said, irresistible offer. And then you get the traffic. Okay. The traffic is you going out and you're doing, you, you have nice social media presence and then you're doing these interviews and everything like that. So you're going to get sales no matter what. So pay attention guys to what people do, right? Like she's doing it. Then we have another formula. It's called positioning. Number one is positioning yourself to leverage others to profit recycle. So step one, you position yourself. You become you became the person, the queen of e-commerce and, and it's simplistic and everything like that. 
your positioning answers how people find you. I found you through an interview, which automatically gave you credibility and authority. And it also answers why people should work with you or buy from you. So you did that perfectly. Then leverage others. That's number two. You did that. You're leveraging me right now. I'm leveraging you. <laughs> you, you leverage all those other podcasts. And so she knows the, whether she knew it or not, she's following the formula, guys. So you want to surround yourself with people like that that are following laws because God's laws, they stand, right? And you're going to get results if you're following these laws or formulas, okay? Um, so what's what's up next? What do you plan in 2024, for uh, the growth of Wealthy College Kid? So Wealthy College Kid is definitely just scaling to help others and help more people. Um, I've always had my planner and I've always had my digital products. So we're just going to double down on that as I scale my product-based business, uh, Just Kidding Kids, as well as my software company, Celsi. Okay, awesome. Super exciting. And we're going <laughs> to bring you on more, 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 more. Might make you a regular, like some Dr. Phil stuff. Yes. All over. Right. So no, thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Oh, no, that's, this is awesome. Man. This is awesome. Like I said, everything can't be about like if I'm actually trying to create a school, I can't be I can't be the only dude there teaching stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And it has to be no, different just... business models as well. Like you have to have something for everyone. Like my wife, she does asset recovery. Right. So I bring her on here. Then we have a couple other people with the electronic uh ev charger business situations and all of these different things and i'm noticing that uh we're getting way more engagement from people and they're excited to not just have to hear hear me all the time mm -hmm. <laughs> all oh, right? for sure. that's what so, it's about building a community of others for sure for sure so okay. we're, we're going to try to bring you back again um, um so i know you're going to be successful even more than you know uh, we're going to get you on Anti-Job University. We're going to get you into the Anti-Job Affiliate Army so that our army of affiliates can promote everything you have. Uh, all of that, guys. So I want you all to comment below on a one to 10 scale. Like, how awesome was this interview? And then which one of these programs would you suggest them go get right now? I would definitely get our eBay mini course monthly with Prodigalist for $97. You guys can all get that at WealthyCollegeKid.com. And I can't wait to see you in the in class. For sure. Tell them where else they can follow you. Do you have a YouTube yet? You, you got, yes, I do. So my YouTube is Wealthy College Kid. And then you guys can find me online anywhere. My first and last name, Christiana Hurt. Okay, so we're going to pin all of that down there. Um, <laughs> man, y'all better take action, man. Matter of fact, like, listen, I'm, I'm going to be a little angry if y'all don't. Um, like, it's difficult. Like, she got a schedule, man. She has a schedule. So it's difficult to get people on the same time as me, especially when I'm in a different country. I can't fly to see her and her come out, all of this extra <laughs> stuff, and the rest of these people. So respect like, if you're going to be on this entrepreneur stuff, take action. That's all I got to say. All right, so salute out to the rest of y'all, and I'm going to talk to her offline real quick.